Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about how to change your gobos in a moving head if you want something different than what's in here from the factory. Now, some moving heads have interchangeable gobos, some don't, so check your owner's manual and make sure yours does before you go any further. Today we're going to look at the NO Spot LED Wi-Fi, but it really could be any moving head. This is just to give you an idea of how it's done. Check it out. Now the first thing you have to do is figure out what size gobo that your moving head takes. Because not all gobos are the same. You're going to have an actual size of the gobo and what they call a viewable. And it's usually measured in millimeters. So you might have a 22 millimeter gobo with an 18 millimeter viewable. Now what I did today was I picked up some stock gobos. I didn't create them myself or anything. They were just things they had in stock. Now we're going to put them in the moving head. We have to figure out which side of this casing to take off. I already did my other head. If you look at the front of this particular light, you'll see that it's got this little ridge here. And it kind of comes out on this side and comes in on this side of the casing. We want this side, the one that comes in on the casing. And there's screws on the top that we need to take out. And once all the screws are loosened, you can take the top of the moving head off. And you'll expose some stuff. Let's have a closer look. Back here is your color wheel. You can kind of see what's going on back there with the colors. This is your gobo wheel right here. It's got a bunch of different gobos on it on this particular light. What you need to do is find the gobo you want to remove and expose it in this little area right here. It's the best area that I've found that you can work on to pull gobos out. So this is the gobo that we want to remove. If you look real close, you'll see right there a little clip. It goes all the way around the gobo. There's a little, I guess, part of the clip that sticks out that I'm going to grab with a pair of pliers and pull out. There we go. There's the ring. And the gobo came out with it, as you can see. Now the new gobo I'm going to put in here, as you may be able to see, says Happy New Year. On this particular moving head, we have to make sure those letters are backwards because that's just how the optics are designed in this particular head. So, I put the gobo in, slides right in place. Now before I put the clip in, I do want to show you something. This is like a little bread tie, and I took the plastic or the paper off of one end. This is a real handy gobo removing tool if you've got real fine letters like this. There's not a lot you can find that fits in there, but this does pretty good and it pops your gobo right out. And we just put the clip back around it. You can usually just do it with your fingers. And there the pins back in, or the clips back in. I did it with my fingers. Just make sure it's nice and secure. Now you can put your moving head back together. And of course to do that, that's just the reverse process of what we did when we removed it. Let's get it back on. All lined up nice and neat. Screw screws back in. And here's our gobo. Now with DMX control, I can change the color if I want to with the color wheel. Yeah, I like green. We can also make it spin real slow if we want to. We can make it go the other way. We can make it go faster. Whatever we really want to do. Now we can also give it a prism effect, which is pretty cool. So there you have it. That's how you swap out the gobo and a moving head. I hope this video helped somebody out there. If you got any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Be happy to try to help you. Practice and enjoy.